So uh, I'm gonna just take you through what a player has to do uh, daily. So the night before, we, we fill out a symptom check. And so he has to fill that out through, a, through an app that we use. And if there's any symptoms that uh, he lists on there that he has, he is not allowed to come to that practice. He has to, he has to quarantine himself. Uh, and then we have to determine whether to get him uh, uh, you know, checked further for potential testing. Once they're here, they get a temperature check as they enter. And then we go in a certain way in the building, we exit a certain way in the building. When they're outside or when they're inside, they have to wear their mask. That's when they're weightlifting. They have to have their mask on when we're outside in clean air. Uh, they don't have to wear those. Coaches uh, have to wear uh, their mask or this shield. This is one of the two things that you'll see us wear right here. Put my hat on. It's something that we will be wearing either this on the field, potential in meetings with the mask or without the mask. Uh, we have to wear those all the time. Things that we're doing to mitigate is when we practice, we're, we're keeping consistency with um, with our group. So we're trying not to have any cross-contamination. So the guys that are practicing, if our O-line, we're trying to keep our O-line together as much as possible. Uh, same thing with same thing with our defensive line. Uh, we are maintaining six feet apart at all, at all times when we're at practice. There are certain times when they are closer together, but it's never more than 10 minutes. Uh, we're following that 15-minute threshold. Uh, and uh, they're not allowed to. Sh they're not allowed to uh, share water bottles. They have to bring their own water. They have to bring their own towel uh, to make sure that they're not cross-contaminating each other with, you know, sweat and some of those things. So those are the procedures that our guys have to go through on a daily basis uh, to make sure that they're, uh, you know, mitigating hopefully the the, the uh, spread of the virus. And, and our guys have done a, a pretty solid job of that so far. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of guys. I know it's been mentally hard on a lot of people. You know, being away from the team for so long and stuff like that. So it's, def it's definitely been great, man, just to get back around the guys, have team camaraderie again and stuff like that. I would say it has got gotten us closer because we're uh, we're holding each other accountable to staying inside and stuff like that. So in that regard, I would say that has uh, gotten us closer. But other than that, it's pretty much been the same. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I learned was patience. You know, not knowing when you're going to have a season, if you're going to have a season, but still having to prepare like you will. Uh, it taught me a lot of patience, you know, just to trust your grind and just to continually get better, even though, like you say, you don't know what's gonna happen in the end. So that way you're always prepared for whatever situation. So I think patience is what I learned most over these last couple months. It's like making decisions in life is what you have to do. So when you're thinking about, oh, I need to go here, I need to go there, do you really need to go there? Because you know anything that you do that you could catch the virus, you could sacrifice not only your season, but your team season. So you gotta be smart about everywhere you go and think about uh, the impact that it could have.